Hey you guys, it's Lauren. So today's video is gonna be an Ulta haul. I'm so excited. I immediately knew I had to place an Ulta order when I saw this new release from ColourPop, their new Pretty Fresh Foundation. I'm like, how quickly can I get my hands on this? I need this in my life. But I heard that this was supposed to be a hydrating foundation. It contained hyaluronic acid. I just could not wait to try this. So I picked this up along with some other new makeup. Essence was having a sale. And then I saw this gloss from Milani that I've been eyeing that was finally in stock. Some new Essence mascaras and new foundation from Catrice. Just lots of fun things so we're gonna do a try on style haul I will include some other makeup along the way but for the most part I'll just use what I picked up during this haul so this should be a fun video I'm very excited about this one I hope you guys enjoy and we'll go ahead and get started all right so I'll show you guys what I got as we go but first let's see I think I'm gonna start with the lips first just because they're feeling a little dry but I picked up another one of the Milani keep it full nourishing lip plumpers these are glosses by Milani, and oh my gosh, I think these are some of the best glosses at the drugstore. I have the shade, oh, I think it's called Baby Pink. It's like a cool tone pink. I've had my eye on the shade forever, but it had me intrigued because first of all, it's always sold out, so that's always a good sign. And the color just looked like my kind of nude pink, like not too cool toned, not too warm, just the perfect shade to wear as a lip topper or on its own. And I just love this formula. The doe foot is so great, it's this like, big fluffy doe foot that feels so good on the lips. Oh, it's more, whoa, okay, that's a little light. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's pat that out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, yeah, I this is a little pale for me. Maybe if I had a full on face right now with a smoky eye, this would look nice, but a little pale on its own. I'm gonna go for the Essence, let me show you guys this color. I didn't pick this up in the haul, but this is one of my favorite nudes. Oh my gosh, and it's on sale for like $3 right now. It's one of the Essence This Is Nude lip shades, and this is in the shade 01 Freaky. It is this like pretty, like rosy nude. It has like a hint of spice to it. Really pretty. Um, yeah, let me just put this on, because I am not feeling that gloss. Just a little too pale on its own. Okay, much better. <laughs> yeah, I love this lipstick. It adds the perfect amount of color. Okay, definitely feeling less washed out now. <laughs> All right, now we'll go in with the foundation I picked up. You know what, I actually picked up two foundations, but I wanted to try on the ColourPop's Pretty Fresh for you guys today. I have been testing this out. I wore it two days in a row so far. I worked a 12 hour shift yesterday and it wore really well. So I picked up the shade 60 Light Neutral. There's a little like swatch card on the top of the box. And I actually ended up being really happy with this shade match. They have, I believe there's 30 shades in this line. This is supposed to be a hydrating foundation with skin perfecting, medium buildable coverage for a natural, healthy looking skin finish. And it's just that. So let me show you guys how this looks on the skin. I'm just spoiling this whole video by telling you guys that I already, already love this. But I actually, I was going to do a whole post on my Instagram too. But I'm like, no, let me, I got to talk about this on YouTube because it's just so great. Okay, so check out how thin this is. It has like a thin, runny consistency, which I love. Especially if a foundation is highly pigmented and you're still able to get that thin finish. It's like my favorite kind of foundation. And I was just, I immediately fell in love with this when I started applying this. So you immediately get some coverage and you see I barely like put any on the sponge. And you saw that big sunspot I have right underneath my eyes. It pretty much covers it almost completely. Not full coverage here, but you're gonna get some nice medium coverage. It's like a cooling sensation on the skin. It feels just like the name applies, like just fresh on the skin and light. I love the finish. It's so, it's perfectly dewy, but not too dewy. Just enough sheen to it where your skin looks healthy and moisturized. All right, so that is with about almost a full pump. You don't even really need a full pump, but oh, I just I love that finish. So this reminds me exactly of, I couldn't think of it when I first pumped it out. I'm like, oh my gosh, this feels like something. It's really familiar. You guys, this is exactly like Urban Decay's original Naked Foundation. You get that same dewy finish, that lightweight feel, that really pigmented foundation though. Like, oh, that, that foundation in particular impressed me so much because it was so pigmented yet so lightweight. And this is exactly how this foundation is. 
I would say probably the same amount of coverage. The Urban Decay Naked Foundation might be a little bit more dewy than this one, and it didn't hold up as that one wore throughout the day. It kind of would slide around. It didn't hold up as well as this one. So I actually think the Lasting Power is a little better with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. It definitely fades throughout the day, but it fades nicely. It doesn't fade patchy. I'm going to put it out there and say that this is probably my new favorite foundation. I, I love how lightweight it is. I love that it lasts. It's lightweight for the summer. I can wear it underneath a mask, and it's not going to transfer like crazy like I said it does definitely transfer but not not terribly now the one negative about this I do feel like this slightly enhances pores it won't sink into your pores but I just noticed for me around my nose let me see if I can zoom in a little bit all right so you can see up close here that my pores are pretty actually enhanced looking but I think it's more so because of the sheen of this foundation really any foundation that's on the slightly dewy side is going to do that to your pores so I wasn't too mad at that because, like I said, it doesn't sink into the pores. And then I also picked another new foundation. Well, more so a BB cream. This is brand new by Catrice. This is their Clean ID Hydro BB Cream. This is in the shade Light Warm. So this is a really nice BB cream. I have to say, my number one is still NYX's BB cream, but this is almost just as pretty. I like NYX's finish a little bit better, but this still has that same, like, radiant finish, but still the light coverage look it still shows your imperfections but it doesn't enhance your imperfections like you know how some bb creams will sink into pores they can highlight texture and it's like okay if i'm going for lightweight coverage i want it to just blend into my skin it just gives a really nice pretty finish to the skin a radiant finish not too dewy really nice i really like this for summer because of that lightweight feel it doesn't like look cakey if you're looking for a new bb cream definitely give this one a go all right and then i also picked up a new concealer by elf this is their Hydrating Camo Concealer. I've heard so many people talk about this and I really wanted to give it a try because I have dry skin. I'm really picky with concealers because my under eyes are especially dry. So I wanted to try this out. This is in the shade Light Sand. It looks like a pretty nice shade match. It's a little bit on the warm side, which I actually like for underneath the eyes because I feel like that warmth helps to cancel out those blue tones underneath the eyes. So let's see, I did bring my foundation up pretty high, but that's okay. We'll just do a couple little dots of this underneath the eyes. I'm not big on using a lot of concealer. I just find that it just cakes up so easily. So I tend to go in pretty light with my concealers. I'm just going to do a couple dots here. And almost off the bat, it seems like the consistency of Shape Tape has a nice, like, thick, big, fluffy doe foot like Shape Tape has as well. A couple... Oh. Coverage is looking pretty good. Yeah, you definitely don't need a lot of this. A little bit goes a long way. It's actually drying down a little bit more matte than I expected for a hydrating concealer, but I don't know. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the coverage is really nice. It's thick, but it feels lightweight, just like how Shape Tape is. So, liking it so far. I'll keep you guys posted with that. I'll let you guys know about how that wears throughout the day. All right, and then I just bronzed my face with products I already had. I used the Coconut Beach Bronzer by ColourPop all over the face. And then also to contour, I use the Bare Minerals. This is the uh, Faux Tan Bronzer. I love this because it's more of a cool tone bronzer, perfect for contouring. And Coconut Beach has a slight warmth to it. Really pretty for all over the face. Blends in really nicely. Um, yeah, I just, I really like this bronzer. It's a shame the, the labeling wore away. I can't stand when that happens. You guys know I like to take pictures for Instagram and obviously I don't want to showcase this off anymore because, I don't know, it doesn't really take a pretty picture when you see the label like that. So I did pick up two new mascaras. Um, I did another two products that I already did try out. So Essence has this new mascara. It's this high beauty mascara. It has organic hemp seed oil and sunflower oil in here to condition and strengthen the lashes. And then I have the Essence Lash Princess in the waterproof version. I've never tried the waterproof version before, so I wanted to give this a go. I love the original Lash Princess, but I always hated the fact that it's smudged. So now my issue with this, it does, once it sets, it lasts throughout the day, but it takes forever to dry down. It's a really super wet formula and it transfers so easily. I don't know if it's because I have more of a hooded lid, um, so my lashes obviously touch my hood a little easier, but oh man, does this transfer so easily. So you just have to be careful with, with it initially. Um, I don't know, it does dry down, but for me, for a waterproof mascara, I was a little disappointed in this. If you want a good long wearing waterproof mascara by Essence, try out the mascara from the You Better Work line. Both of those formulas are amazing. They last 
throughout the day with no sponging. This was just okay. It has the same performance as the Lash Princess, but the wear time wasn't as good as I hoped. But you still get those like thick, bold, long lashes. I love this formula. It just smudges. All right, and then on the other eye, we'll use this one by Essence that's also brand new. This is the High Beauty Mascara. All right, so with this packaging, I don't know why this bothers me a little bit. So High Beauty. First of all, you do not get high from hemp seed oil. And then on the top here, we have, it says 100% good vibes. Like, ugh, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little cheesy. Is it just me? I also feel like it stigmatizes marijuana. I mean, marijuana is used for, there's a lot of medical uses, especially, especially for CBD. CBD is proven to help with seizures, and I don't know. It's, oh, this is packaging bothers me. But nonetheless, the formula is decent, not great. Definitely not as good as a Lash Princess Mascara. So you get a lot of length from this. But this just does not grab the lash at all. And it takes a while to build it up. So you see, it's already, that was like a couple swipes and it's not really doing much. But I'm getting the length. I don't know, I just feel like this mascara takes too much effort. It's not as bold as Lash Princess. I'm still gonna go for my Lash Princess, so. I don't know, this um, new mascara release from them is kind of a fail for me. Let me just add a little bit of Lash Princess just to make this look even. All right, I made that side a little spidery blending those two but we'll go with it okay so next up let's do eyebrows milani had a new release they have a new brow pencil this is called the precision brow pencil i got the shade soft brown did i mean to pick up soft brown i think i meant to pick up the cool tone shade i hope this isn't too reddish because my brows definitely lean on the cooler side i found this because i was looking for the nyx precision brow pencil this has the exact same name are they allowed to do that I don't know about that, but I don't know. I was just curious about this a new formula by them. Wow, okay, you kind of have to press hard to get pigment, which I don't always necessarily mind that because I feel like the less soft the, um, the crown, usually the product lasts a little bit longer and it also stays in place a little bit better. It makes your brow hairs look super natural. Okay, maybe do I have a favorite new brow pencil? I like that. Okay, and it also has the brush tip on the end, a little spoolie. And then sometimes I like to, with my brow pencils, I like to line my under eye just to give some definition. And I also find that brow pencils last a lot longer than a lot of eyeliners. So I like to do this trick just to kind of pulls everything together too, just for an everyday look. All right, and then I have these new blushes by Essence. These are called the Essence Blush Lighters. These looked so pretty. So bummer here, the one actually came broken. They had two shades and they were only, all the Essence products were on sale this week. I think I got these for like $3.70 or something like that. So I had to pick up both of these to compare the shades. I don't even know if I'll end up returning this. I don't know, is it worth going to Ulta for $3? Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> but all right, let's look at these shades. So this first shade is Nude Twilight. Looks kind of like a neutral blush on the one side. Kind of has a rosy tint to it. Oh yeah, it comes out a little darker than I thought it would. And then the highlight over here, oh, a little bit more golden toned. Let's see how you swatch. Oh, really pretty. I like that nude color. So you know what, I'm gonna swirl these together because I also picked up the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I could not resist this. I know everybody talks about this and I've been dying to try this. And with all the Essence makeup on sale, I just wanted to give it a go. So let's first see how this applies on its own. It's going on pretty smooth. It's just a little bit of a sheen there. Wow. It's really pigmented. Pretty neutral color, a little bit of rosiness to it. I don't know, sometimes I like more of a peachy undertone to my blushes. But let's go ahead and try the coral shade. It's broken, but yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go. So I obviously, oh, I'm dropping this everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. See how this swatches. Oh yeah, this looks really pretty. All right. Ooh, it kind of looks like Milani's Luminoso. That looks really nice. Okay, let's give this one a go. Oh yeah. That is perfect. I 
love that one. Okay, now I might have to return it so I can get <laughs> an unshattered one because that is really pretty. That highlight factor like plumps out the cheeks too. Really nice. All right, last but not least, I want to try out the nude highlighter. So like I said, everybody raves about this. I wanted to give it a try. A lot softer than I thought it would be. A lot of baked products are usually, it can be tough to pick up a product, but it's pretty soft. Ooh. Oh, that is pretty. It's not too intense. It's a natural highlight, which I really like. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm very excited. Okay, let me top off my lips with a little bit more lipstick, and we'll call it a day. All right, so here's the final look. I like how it's just like an everyday, nice, pretty, glowy look. I feel like my haul was, I don't know, I would say 50% successful. I definitely have some new favorites. We'll start with the fails, though. So the Essence mascaras were... Uh, they were a fail for me, I would say. Definitely the Essence Lash Princess won over the new High Beauty Mascara. This, I got those bold long lashes that I really like out of the Essence formula, but this just did not hold up like I, I would expect from a waterproof mascara. It smudged right away. And then the Essence High Beauty just did not even, it was just really un unimpressive and I really had to work with it to get those like full lashes. Try out the Original Lash Princess. It works just as good as this one, if not better. I feel like that formula is a little bit more voluminous than the waterproof version. And also um, the You Better Work Mascara is amazing. That one holds up so well. So yeah, fail for those new Essence mascaras. Um, another fail, was that it? Yeah, that, I guess, no, oh, this one. This Milani lip gloss. So I love the formula, but this color was just a little bit too light for me, a little bit too opaque and pale. Maybe if I, let's see if I pat it out a little bit. I'll top it with that Essence lipstick and see how it looks. Okay. So that actually looks pretty. Maybe I just have to go in a little more light handed with this because I just, I love this formula. I want to try out the Luminoso shade too. I heard that one is beautiful. So that. I love the formula, but the shade was just a fail for me. And then this Catrice BB Cream. This was really nice. Light coverage, nice for every day, nice radiant finish. I did really like this, but for an everyday foundation, my new go-to is definitely going to be the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I love this. I'm so excited about this. It reminds me of my OG, my Holy Grail Urban Decay Naked Foundation that they unfortunately discontinued, but I'm so happy to find another like liquidy thin foundation that feels lightweight on the skin, but I get the coverage from it. It holds up nicely. Like I said, not the longest wearing, but I don't know, it fades nicely. It just looks so pretty on the skin and fresh. It's like they have the name on point here because it's definitely like a fresh feeling foundation. It makes your skin look healthy. It gives a nice little glow, not too dewy. So I feel like even if you have oily skin, I think this would work for you. I really like it, really excited about this. And the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, I'll have to follow up with you guys. So far, so good. I can usually tell right off the bat if I'm gonna like a concealer because usually with my eyes, it, I feel like it cracks right away, but this is not settling into any fine lines. It has really nice coverage. It doesn't feel heavy. It has that thick texture, just like shape tape, so you don't need a lot of it. I don't know, I think this is gonna be a new favorite as well. So yeah, the e.l.f. Concealer and the new Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop. I'm excited about these too. So thank you guys for watching this haul. This was super fun. It was fun to just like buy makeup again. And yeah, I just, I had a ball with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if there's anything new that you guys have picked up recently, any new favorites, any new fails. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you again for watching this and I'll see you guys in my next one. See you guys.